Do you think 600 V bucks is too much for a back bling? Well, if you answered yes, then uh, I hate to break it to you, but the brand new Vault Boy bobblehead in the shop right now is in fact 600 V bucks. Um, now that being said. I'm not going to rip it apart because I actually do like it. I did buy it. I have one piece of criticism for it. All right. But let's get into the positives first. There's two different variations. All right. You got him riding the pinata llama. And then you have the just straight up version. All right. Here's my piece of criticism. I think it's too small. Okay. Look how tiny it is on this giant body. All right. Now I'm going to show you gameplay. Uh, with that model of the T60 specifically, all right? And then I also show you gameplay of Scuba Crystal, which is a uh, smaller framed skin. And even still, it still looks tiny. I think it's too tiny, all right? Like, let me know what you think in the comments. It obviously looks good. Okay, I'm not complaining about the way it looks. The bobble looks very nice, like it actually is bobbling like a bobblehead would. All right, but I just think it's too tiny. All right, what's going on? I'm uh, my name, hello, uh, uh, brain work, please. My name is Quantum Camper, and uh, we're gonna go through the shop in just a second. But first, I just want to let you know. I will never ask you for money. I will never offer a subscription. Everything I do will be for free because I want you to spend as much money as possible in the shop, on bot uh, battle passes, whatever, okay? But the one thing that I ask you is that you hit the like button, drop me a comment, let me know what you're gonna get in the shop. Even if you're not gonna get anything, just give me like a little emoticon. Just let me know you're watching. And subscribe please if you haven't already because we go in depth into the item shop every day now um i'm going to show you gameplay of this a little later on okay let's go through the shop first mecha team leader back in the shop okay i believe oh i'm, I'm a mess hold on i uh i i was uh i did like five or six matches trying to get uh gameplay and look, I will show you actually that I got what I think might be the very first crown victory in Fortnite history with the Vault Boy backbling attached to the Black Knight T60 power armor. I think I might have been the first. But uh, we'll get to that in a second. Let's pull up Fortnite.gg. Mecha. Team. Leader. Last time in the shop was... 290 days ago. This is the first time that uh, this skin has been in the shop in 2024. What do you think? I think it's kind of cool. I watched uh, another review of it and they said they don't like it for some reason. I like it. I think it's a cool skin uh, introduced in season nine. They've got just a straight up, you know, I like this got two variants. They've got a straight up just metal version, which is cool. And then they got the fun kind of OG Fortnite look, you know, um, I, I back it, dude. I'm for it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then it's got a built-in emote, which, you know, not every skin has that. It's cool. And this may, is this new? Is the Lego new? It's pretty cool, actually. Might even be worth it just for the Lego. That's dope. Um, I am showing skin restraint and I did buy a skin already today. So I'll tell you what I got. Um, we got, uh, Mazzy still in the shop. All these are free, by the way. If you haven't picked these up, who doesn't love free? And, uh, this artwork is sick, dude. Great artwork. I'm kind of low key, uh, getting into collecting artwork. And what really sold me on the skin I bought today was in fact the artwork. I, I've been wanting her for a, for a minute. Uh, but I saw the artwork and I was like, okay, let's do it. Um, so once again, did not show skin restraint. Ooh, I actually, do I like this cape? Kind of, yes. 
Uh, Midas. If the OG original Midas showed up in the shop, I would get it. Wait, wait, wait. Was that the, was the first Midas? Was that in a battle pass? Dang, I think it might have been. Hold on. You're probably screaming at me. right? Ooh, Shadow Midas. Hold on. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's look. This one. Battle Pass, Chapter 2, Season 2. Unfortunately, I will never own this. Let me know in the comments. Do you have this Midas? Okay. I would buy that one if it was in the shop. Uh, we got this whole group here. Earhart, Maximilian, Wingtip. Uh... <laughs> I just like that. Ah! Um, Raven team leader back in the shop till the 30th. He, I, dude, I don't understand why. Like, people either... App, this has, like, such a huge cult following and people adore this skin or they just absolutely hate on it. Which is crazy. I, I mean, I wouldn't... I'm not going to hate on it. You know, and I, I, I think it really just, I don't know. Why do people hate on it? Let me know in the comments. It's not for me. You know, we like to keep things not necessarily super positive, but just not negative. So I, but, but even then I don't have anything negative to say, but I think it's a pretty cool skin. It's just literally not for me. It's not, it's not my style. I'm not, I'm not into it, but I'm not knocking you if you, if you, if you wear it, you know what I mean? Um, we got, uh, X-Men back in the shop. Uh, to me, Rogue and Gambit, this is a must own, uh, combo here. So if you have the money, if you get the V-Bucks, grab it. I think it's a must have. Um, and if anything, just get this, this this glider looks so dope, dude. I can't... I, I love this glider, okay? Um, the pickaxe, uh, it's kind of cool. I could do without, to be honest. I picked up Dark Phoenix. Um, 1,500. Very, very nice skin. I kind of wanted her last time. Um... But I ended up going with Gambit and uh, Rogue. So I was like, the back bling's sick, dude. I haven't even used her yet. So I'm pretty stoked about this. But this artwork is fire, bro. This is dope. Look at that. So I ha literally when I saw this, I was like, okay. All right, let's do it. So 1500 for that. Um, and somebody asked me, they were because they were asking about the... Um, x-force uh skins that were just in the shop with cable and stuff like, oh, i don't know if i should get it and i was like well if you got your eye on something else i think they'll be back for the uh, marvel season so i wouldn't worry too much if you don't have the v-bucks for it right now or you got your eye on something else um and also i'm bummed i want to someone oh by the way uh thank you all for commenting what your uh what your main is it was super fun for me to like go through the comments and uh, look through all all the different skins and because there was like some some that I uh, I wasn't familiar with. One being, um, dude, the uh, uh, laugh laugh bat laugh, this one. I didn't know Batman who laughs. How is this a skin, dude? I mean, that's why I love this game. That they okay stuff like this. This is just a... It's outlandish that this is a Fortnite skin. I'm just going to say it. And don't get me wrong. And that's not a negative comment. I'm just shocked. Like, it makes sense. You get Batman, okay? Let's look at all the iterations of Batman. This makes sense, okay? I would ever rock this because it looks a little bulky. But it does look good. Okay, obviously Catwoman, duh. All right, Batman Zero. Okay, um, just regular comic Batman. This all makes sense. Dark Knight. Okay, but this version, bro, huh? 
this is like sadistic, dude. It's crazy. And uh, I mean, I never, I, I'm actually going to read this comic. Let me know in the comments. Have you read this? Uh, because I, I guess it's like an alternate universe and the and the Joker and the Batman like fuse together and, and or something like that. So I'm going to read this, but I need this skin. Shout out to, I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, whoever said this was their main, but this is the dopest main to have because uh, it's a amazing skin. I can't believe it. Uh, it was very available last year look how many times it was in the shop to the 2023 2020 uh 2022 and then it's been gone for 205 days what's up with that okay so hopefully let's look 2020 when was the first appearance 2023 june dude okay so there was the drop off right there so J july 2022 to and then june 16 2023 that's when it came back so hopefully this is i mean this is bound to come back soon hopefully hopefully it didn't get vaulted that would be insane dude so yeah if you didn't comment um what your main was let me know i want to know your whole setup like what's your main skin what's your pickaxe what's your back bling obviously i like to switch it up a lot um but another one of my favorites, which I actually did know that this skin existed, but uh, Metalcore Mina. I'm so bummed that I missed out on this. I don't, I mean, packs don't normally come back, right? I think sometimes they do or they'll do like variations. I don't, I don't think it's a hardcore uh, rule to where you can't, uh, bring it back, you know, like Battle Pass. If it was in the Battle Pass, it's not coming back. They might do some type of variation of it, like jewels, beach jewels, whatever. Um, but the original, yeah. So, but I don't know if it's like a f steadfast uh, rule. But anyway, Wrecker, I got Wrecker. I like. I haven't actually haven't even used him yet. <laughs> um, but he has a cool back bling that somebody commented that they that they use. So, hopefully that comes back. Um, and Hush, I don't know if I mentioned this. I've been having a lot of fun with Hush. Hush is a great skin. So, super good edgy e-girl. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. A lot of the same old stuff here. You know what's interesting? Let me know. Was it... I don't... You can't... You can only buy the bundle now. Wasn't Beach Jewels uh, sold separately before? I'm, I'm going to have to check my video from yesterday or the day before but it looks like you can only buy the um bundle now it's weird i thought they were selling them separately before interesting um beach jewels is cool but it's it's kind of like i i have um crystal scuba crystal so it's kind of like similar even similar tattoo style so i'm, I'm uh, i feel like i'm like I'm good. I, I that's why I kind of am not pulling the trigger on Beach Jewels, um, even though she is a very cool edgy. I still might get a little whip. I don't know, but I like everything here. And not that I don't like the skin. I think it is a good skin. I would just literally I would never use it, but I would use I would use everything else. I would use the glider. I would use the ice pop. I probably wouldn't use the wrap. Um, but the back bling is so sick, dude. And it's, it's, uh, reactive. Um, let's keep going here. Edgy E-boy. <laughs> Midas. Oh, I feel like, uh, she might be leaving soon. Oh, no. Still got a few days. I'm, I may also pull the trigger on this one. Um, we got the festival stuff there. There's some new songs. Okay, um, oh, I got it. I can't play them, but like Venga Boys is actually really fun to play. Uh, 24 Karat Magic is very fun to play as well. So check that out. There's some new songs in there. Um, and I think that's about it. Dude. So let me show you some gameplay and let's decipher if this is worth 600 V-Bucks. Okay. 
Now, this is um, over like four different games. And I did... Uh, I did... Um, I did like gameplay with a big skin. And then I did gameplay with a uh, smaller skin. Just so you can get... So right off the bat, you can't even see it, dude. When you're descending from the from the battle bus and then you have the um, and i and i picked this specifically because i was like i bet it's gonna block it and it does you can barely see it all right and now watch when the and i picked a very big uh uh glider <laughs> you can't even see it dude <laughs> um so you're not going to want to use a giant massive glider that could potentially uh cover it up uh, what do you think about the hammer with uh, the T60 skin? I think it, I don't rock the T60 a lot, but um, I think the big hammer actually looks really cool with this skin. Um, so I don't know. Let's let's see. What do you guys think? Let's check it out. I mean, it it does look nice, but. It looks tiny, right? On that, like, big-ass body. Dude. There it is in the sunlight. Okay. Now, I found myself, when I was playing, I didn't even, like... I, I didn't even notice it half the time. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, you get into the, the moment, and, you know, you're not... Uh, you're not focusing on your back bling a lot, obviously. But, like, I don't know, dude. It's, uh, I feel like it should be a little bit bigger. Have they ever done that? Have they ever, like, patched a uh, cosmetic and, like, potentially made it bigger? Let me know in the comments. Um, and by the way, I got a freaking crown victory on this uh oh oh this is actually sick watch this so those other those other two eliminations were bots but i'm pretty sure this is a real guy watch this boom <laughs> later bro um is that toxic that i uh dance after an elimination let me know in the comments should i stop doing that i won't but like it's it's one thing to do like take the l and like i hated that and to be honest I uh, I haven't turned it back on, and I I, I can't stand those um, emotes, the four troublesome ones. And so I was like, "Thank God, dude!" The donkey laugh. Do you know how much I hated that donkey laugh? It literally. There it is, dude. Sheesh. Um. So that is Vault Boy. On a big skin. The donkey laugh. Though. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's finish that thought. The donkey laugh. Oh, my God, bro. I can't stand. I couldn't stand. It, it like, actually legitimately made me not want to play the game. Hearing that thing. I think a little bit of... Let me know if this is if this is bad behavior that I'm doing. That some sometimes, not every time. But when I get, like, a... When I'm super contested and it's, a, like, a gnarly fight you know sometimes and i get an elimination i'll do a little victory dance i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie what do you think about that is that okay do you do that by the way these wings are nice look how clean that looks dude this is from uh Clix's bundle i hardcore recommend that I, I think it might be gone but if you ever see those again um there it is. <laughs> so, I, I, maybe it's a little toxic. Maybe I shouldn't be dancing like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm like, like kind of overdoing it a little bit. I don't know. Let me know. Um, so that is, and here it is in sunlight. So it obviously looks better on like a smaller frame skin. Um, and when you do something like T60 or dude on cable, I'll show you what it looks like on cable. But it's like, it gets, if you have like a busy, very like 
busy back um, on your skin, it's it does not look good. Because uh, it just gets lost in it. And you can't even really see it. But if you have like a one-toned skin, it actually it looks okay. Or you have a smaller frame, I think this looks better. Um, but I'll show you the, uh, the variant um, of the skin as well in a second here. But we'll see. We'll watch this. I robbed this guy. He was fighting the tiger. Alright, check out. Watch this. This is nasty of me, dude. Was that bad? <laughs> Look. And then watch this. Okay, I get toxic again. But then, karma comes at me. <laughs> there it is. You know, I deserve that. 100%. I deserve that. Get nasty. Okay, so that there it is close up in game. Let's take a look at that. Here we go. See? Right. Oh, you know what? There. You can see that now. So What do you think? It does look cool. I just I think it's too small, bro. Oh, look at look how clean those wings are, bro. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah. So, let me know. I don't know if it's if you're a huge fan. Okay. It's obviously worth it. I think the rarity is going to be pretty high. Um. It'll probably be one of those things where it comes back every time. Um, every time there's like a new season comes out of uh, Fallout, but I can't see it like really being very, very available. Um, so I think it might be a wise choice to get it if you're a fan, um, if you're a collector of rarity. You know, if you collect for rarity, I think it's also. A good a good pickup but if if you're not one of those two things it, I don't I don't know it might not be worth it um, let me know what you think in the comments dude should you get it I mean <laughs> it's crazy dude a and also keep in mind it, this is gonna look way smaller in game i mean look <laughs> look how funny that looks dude this giant body and it's like tons of detail on his back and everything and then this little bobblehead right there it's yeah so i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna get this keep in mind like i'll show you this it does look very good with like a monitor or like a, a single colored uh, like top. So like Digabal Luke, okay? Actually looks very good with it, all right? Because it doesn't have any other colors or anything con uh, contrasting with it because it is very small, all right? Uh, even, like <laughs> even like this, you know? There's, it actually does look pretty clean on it, on a, uh, black fabric but like we, like that nah dude that's not gonna happen um it does look pretty uh yeah it just looks kind of funky on like a giant ass shell like that you know what i mean i don't know so like certain skins it works with certain skins it doesn't but i still i'm gonna stand by this it's too tiny let me know in the comments is Vault Boy too skinny? Are you going to buy it? Is it worth 600 V-Bucks? I'm going to tell you this honestly. I probably wouldn't have bought this if I didn't make videos. Okay? If I was just strictly like playing the game. I might just for... Because, I mean... Even if I wasn't making videos, I would, I would, I was, even before I was making videos, I was, um, collecting to collect for rarity and, you know, stuff I like, but I would have probably picked this up because I would have, because I still think it's going to be kind of rare. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, unless you're really into Fallout and or you want to collect rare stuff, I would say it's worth it. And there's some people that collect anything v- video game. Like if it's in if it's in a uh, video game back bling or skin, they'll get it, which I think is kind of smart. Cuz those skins end up being kind of rare. Um but yeah, I I think unless you fall into those categories it's not worth it to be honest. 6 and 600 for for a back bling that's not reactive is wild. It does bobble. Does that count as being reactive? <laughs> Um. All right. I think that's it for the shop, dude. So let me know what you got. Are you getting anything? Uh, I think we went over everything. Let's see if we missed anything. That's it, man. All right. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.